So the first tip I'm going to show you is useful if you want or need to change the language of the user interface. In my case, it is currently in Spanish, as you can see here. Even though Spanish is my first language, I usually like to have programs installed in English because it is usually easier to find help and documentation for the English versions. People might try to help you by saying go to this option, click on that button, or change this setting. But if you have the program in other language, things can get complicated at times. So I want a SQL developer in English. So to begin, I need to close it if it is running and go to the installation folder. To do that, I'm going to right click on the shortcut and click on open file location. Once there, I'm going to open the SQL developer folder and then the bean folder. Here, there's a file called sqldeveloper.conf, which is the one I need to edit to change the language. I'm going to use Sublime Text to edit it, but you can use any other text editor, such as Notpile, for example. To change the language, I need to add a new setting here. There's not a specific place to put this new setting, so I'm going to put it here almost at the beginning. I will put a comment here to help me remember what it is for in case I open the file again in the future. And now I'm going to add the new setting. We need to use the add VM option command to pass the parameter to the Java virtual machine when it starts the application. So I'm going to copy it from here. And the parameter we need to add is user.language. And I will set it to en for English. And that's it. I can now save the file and open SQL Developer again. And yes. It is now in English.